Peter Parker and Spider-Man have hit puberty. Here's my drive time review of Spider-Man Far From Home. Marvel has got their footprints all over Far From Home, even more so than Homecoming. And I don't know if that bothered me or not. Um, I'm still undecided. But it was more Marvel than Spider-Man movie. And so you have Nick Fury, you got Maria Hill, and uh, you've got a couple other surprises from the Marvel world. And I guess I didn't mind it, but I don't know, I have mixed feelings about it. The movie was fun, um, however, I was often bored. I don't know why. I don't think the action scenes were on par like the first one. Um, I really enjoyed Homecoming. I didn't mind Marvel's footprints all over that one. Um, I guess because it was light and here it's just like, I think it's heavy handed. I don't know. I mean, I love Marvel. I love all their films. I love them game. And, um, so to see a bit of a continuation here, I didn't mind it, but I thought it was just a little too heavy handed. Um, so here's the story. So Peter Parker and his science class are going to Europe for European vacation And his love interest, MJ, is going. And this is going to be the day, the time where he tells MJ his true feelings. And so the whole movie, he's building up the courage. And in the meantime, superhero business is coming, getting in the way, as as per usual. And that part of the movie was endearing because you're rooting for them to come together. And his issues with that are very real and rooted in real life and totally relatable and the cast of characters are charming and you're sympathetic towards them and then the action scenes in a way this is an action movie but I would rather stay with the characters because I thought we were having a really good time with them especially in Europe um, as students and experiencing this whole new world and love and So I actually preferred that over the action. And Peter Parker is dealing with the aftermath of Endgame where people are looking at him to be the next Iron Man. And he doesn't want that job. So who would? That's a big big shoes to fill. And so it's a natural progression from Endgame. And um, I don't think anybody expected Spider-Man to take the mantle and be the next Tony Stark. So... We're with you, Peter Parker. We don't believe in that either. You should be a kid. So the action in this movie bothered me because it's very, it was very CGI. And I don't want to spoil anything, but then it's kind of explained in the movie. So for you, and then you're like, oh, okay, I, I see it. But then you don't really believe the actions of other characters because of it. It just seemed very unbelievable, especially given the characters we know like Nick Fury and Maria Hill. So I don't want to say anything further, but at the end, they explain it. So I thought, okay, that kind of explains the actions of some of the characters, but I thought it was too easy of a fix. I don't know if that was shot afterwards. I'm not sure. Maybe it was in the film the whole time, but it just felt like a little footnote. To explain why the actions of some of their characters wouldn't have made sense in the ordinary Marvel world. So, hopefully I'm not giving away any spoilers about that. And the Mysterio, he was an interesting character. Um, but there were, I had some issues with him as far as the, believ- the believability of the character. So, I had issues with that. So, it's tied to the fact of some of the character actions. So I can't say any more without spoiling it. When you see it, maybe it'll make sense what I'm talking about. But yes, some of the characters' actions don't make sense in this movie. I didn't think the action was just as exciting as Homecoming. Homecoming felt intense, like there was a real threat. Here, I didn't feel like there was a real threat. And so I thought the action was lacking. I didn't. I don't think we saw enough of Spidey and Peter Parky. Parky, Parky. Peter Parker swinging from building to building like we're used to seeing. I thought it was very light on that as well. So it felt very different, not like your usual 
neighborhood Spider-Man and granted they're in Europe so you'll get a different feel but it was not awkward but I just thought it was a little took me out of the movie a little bit apparently I'm in the minority um, and speaking to some of my colleagues after the screening they loved it they actually thought it was better than homecoming I didn't I thought homecoming was better so I talked to half a dozen people and the consensus was that they loved it so I'm in the minority I don't know how other people will feel about it it's a give or take I don't know but yeah I was in the minority last night as far as the people that I spoke to who really loved the film and didn't mind the action and when I brought up some of my issues with the film they were like yeah I could see that but they got past it so I don't know I didn't get past it so those are my thoughts on Spider-Man Far From Home let me know what you thought about the movie and uh, let me know if you thought Marvel was a little more heavy-handed in this one than the uh, Homecoming. I would really like to know. 